and we're doing barbecue on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We are. Mm -hmm. We're on right now, by the way. All right, so this week Imperial kicked off barbecue Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Each week, you get a new barbecue menu here to tell us uh, what he's planning for the summer. Executive chef, congratulations on that. Matthew Gerald, good to see you again, buddy. What's up, Brian? This good is, this is uh, okay, an amazing concept, but it's, you know, I was talking to my producer just uh, during the commercial break. Barbecue with an international twist. What, what do we got? Well, I mean, obviously we started with some real Americana. There's a lot of Southern influence, um, but we want to explore every aspect of barbecue. You know, there's Chinese barbecue, there's, there's Thai barbecue, Korean there's Korean barbecue, barbecue yeah. there's Aussie barbecue, and then there's, you know, you, you can really go anywhere you want with it, and you don't want to get stuck in the South. I mean, not that it's a bad place to be, but <laughs> I, just, you want to, you want to I want, I want to keep it very exciting and yeah. people come back for something new each week. I can't help but look, and I, I wish, you know, for, you, for those of you at home that are watching this right now, you can come on in here and take a look at this, this food. You could smell it through the camera. When you're, you could literally, when you walk into the studio, it's the first thing you usually smell. Yeah, go ahead. You have those spoons right here. This is, this is perfect. What do we have right here? We're looking at this. this so is this is the menu that I ran this last week. So y'all are going to get a choice of half or full rack of baby back ribs. Uh, or a plate that's got a, a quarter pound or a half pound each of brisket and pork shoulder. Okay, this right here, this that's sandwich? That's pulled pork sandwich I ran pulled, for lunch today. Okay, you posted this on your Instagram account and yeah. I almost died. I was like, this is the greatest <laughs> thing ever. I'm surprised I didn't see you for lunch right <laughs> oh after I posted God. it, actually. I was, I, was, I was busy, I was at Nike, I had to get yeah. my workout in so I could eat this tonight. Well, I'll have it around tomorrow if you want to come by. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what do we have, this brisket? So this is a brisket. My brisket and my shoulder, they roll in the smoker for 27 hours a piece. <sighs> The shoulder gets brined for about 48 hours. The brisket doesn't get brined down at all. It just gets rubbed, straight dry. Why rubbed. do they call this the, the butt? Um, <laughs> it's, I, I couldn't give you a proper answer. For that. <laughs> okay, it's, I was just it, wondering. It's known as Boston butt in a lot Boston of parts butt. of the country, mm. but I mean, that's, that means pork shoulder. That's, that's what It's the shoulder. For. It's not actually yeah. the, it's got the right here, The flavorful part. Wow, that is insanely good. Now, do you like to have your barbecue? Because a lot of people, some, some people like to have you know, rub. Or they like to have the so sauce. I, I, I can't really put a label on my style of barbecue. I worked with a guy who taught me a lot, Doug Adams from East Texas, mm -hmm. and he's got a lot of his influence that's in here combined with how I grew up barbecuing with my dad. There's a little bit of Carolina in here. Yeah, the so Carolina with that vinegar. With the vinegar yeah. that you're tasting, yeah. yeah. I always dry rub everything. It's dry and then it goes into the smoker. My barbecue's about the meat. Oh, it is too. Period. And you by know, the way, you can have some sauce that goes on the side, <laughs> but it's meat forward. You don't see meat like this on, on this. You're serving this? This yes, sir. That's, so this is a this is a half rack of ribs right here. Oh my God! And so you'll get that. That's for a lot of twenty seven bucks and two sides. We had three different sides to choose from. There's the green chili mac. I'm a dipper. Barbecue baked beans and a black eyed pea salad. And so you get you get two sides. You get your choice of protein. Everything comes with. We made as close to Wonder Bread as we could in the restaurant as possible. So everything <laughs> comes homemade. with as much Wonder Bread as you want. Pickles. <laughs> Are you called it Wonder Bread on the menu? Uh, house Wonder Bread. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's okay. That's South. That's, it that is, would say that's but it's also, barbecue. it's proper barbecue, you know, like you, you want white bread to soak everything up. Al, you're not here today, buddy, and it's okay. I will do this for you. This sausage, one of my sous chefs made for us, it's jalapeno and, and cheddar in the sausage, one of those really tasty backyard oh my God. hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I, I, come on. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Come in and get some food Are you tomorrow. kidding me right now? Yeah. That is some tasty stuff. That's some good barbecue. But I got to try the sausage. Ah, I'm glad I worked out earlier today. Yeah, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, by the way, you're going to see that coming up here next. So you guys are doing this on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, we'll open for dinner service at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We'll have our full imperial dinner menu like we always do, but mm -hmm. you can also get a secondary menu that we're going to drop with it. This coming week, it's going to be the same menu. It's going to be what you see in front of you. The week after that, I'm going to rotate out different proteins, different sides. We'll explore all aspects of the globe, and, but it's all going to be smoke-centric, and it's all going to be wholesome and it's what you want to I know, right? <laughs> and i got to tell you, barbecue is so good. It's great comfort yeah. food, especially in the summertime. If this, if this becomes pretty popular and it sells out, like, are you going to extend it? Um, well, I want to run it through the summer, and then I've got a few other programs lined up yeah. for when summer starts to wind up, and, and we'll segue into that. I just want to keep it exciting. I want new things that are not normally part of what's regular Imperial menu, but it's still in our wheelhouse that can keep people very excited. Maybe people that don't normally come into Imperial. Wet naps will be a must. Well, I, I ordered like some. They're going to be at the restaurant tomorrow. <laughs> They'll come with little wet naps Oh, on, I haven't even tried this plate. yet. Hey, while I try this brisket, you're going gonna, gonna to come back and you're going to see me work out with Bettina. Uh, Gozo, she's an amazing, amazing trainer. Well, you'll need it after this one, so. I'll relive it Maybe anyway. you can help out some of my guests, too. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Chef Matthew from Imperial, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Cheers, Brian. You shouldn't be talking with my mouth full. Well, I need a cold one. I forgive you. Ha, 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 ha.